Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Cuphead. And before I get started today, something I want to cover that I was told in the comments that I didn't even think about. So, the black and white filter. It's kind of secretly a bit of a hard mode. Yeah, remember how I was saying I was having trouble telling which option I had highlighted due to the black and white colors? Yeah, in battle, good luck telling which attacks you can parry. Ah, that Wolfgang. Always taking ten notes to express two notes worth of music. He has no conception of what I mean by less is more. I know you agree with me. Go convince that ten-eared clock. He won't listen to me anymore. So, I think you can sneak through here, maybe. So Ludwig's been filling your mugs with his less is more drivel, eh? Keep talking to that fool and soon nothing will sound right to you. Don't say I didn't warn you. So, I want to say that has something to do with maybe the sound or music quality, but I'm not really sure what it does. But anyway, today's going to be a bit of a thing. So, preparation here. We actually don't need the smoke bomb. Super meter continuously fills in addition to what you earn. I'm pretty sure this is what I want for now. Shot types don't matter, super doesn't matter, yeah, this is another flight level. And one that I've been warned about, and that actually does look pretty intimidating from watching others play it. Dr. Call's robot in Junkyard Jive. Why was it on simple? I'm just never going to be free of eyebrow doctors, am I? So during this phase, you have to take out the different parts of the robot. Each has its own attack. Parrying the little laser drones, that does count, I believe, for the parries you need. Okay, I've taken out the abdomen, so I don't have to worry about those little mini-robots anymore. Bombs, on the other hand, that's another problem entirely. Fail quote. Objective complete. Target scrapped. Okay, so I think this might be something that got changed in the patch. I am shown as having made some progress here. I believe in early builds of the game, you weren't shown as making any progress in this fight until you got to the second phase. So, that was a bit misleading and kind of a soul crusher. A great Flex those wily brows. So, yeah. I want to parry the laser drones. But I also really don't like the abdomen cavity there. The little mini robots, they can be pretty annoying. Okay, so now I forget if this is actually the second phase or not now that the heart's exposed. I'm honestly not sure what actually hit me there. Okay, no, that's officially the second phase now that the head's off. Okay. Malfunction, malfunction. This is going to be a tough one. I was warned this was going to be a thing, and I was fully prepared for it. I at least feel like I understand the first phase well enough. Oh, that pinned me in a bit more than I would have liked. Okay, the mini-droids are gone. Ah, uh, I had nowhere I could go. Mistimed the parry. So yeah, once you take out the head antenna, you get the kind of junk cannon up there. 
Were they really making a pun on headcanon? Taking out the abdomen, that stops the mini-drones. However, it starts causing those bombs to start flying out. Couldn't quite get through. I'm not sure what happens if you take out the chest cavity early, though. But since that one gives me parry opportunities, I don't really want to take it out early. Okay, that's out. That's out. Uh, magnet. Uh. Okay, well, we're in this phase now. Gotta remember I have that shrink power. Okay, I have a super. Okay, we're in the final phase. Between just overall being kinda tired today, and being rather caught up in this battle, there is something about this phase that I forgot to point out, and it would be remiss of me to not mention it. Ooh, shiny! Are you summoning Chaos Emeralds? Ah. Uh. Yeah, there's a lot you have to be mindful of here. Not only the gem shards, but also those electric walls. Yeah, we got hit once. How'd the rest of the fight go, though? Actually, not bad. All we missed was we got hit once. Okay, I feel more confident about this. This is one of those that watching others play it, this looked hectic and really, really bad, and... From everything I had heard of this one, people were warning me this one was going to be bad. I don't know if it's just the fact that I'm using the coffee or not, but... It doesn't seem as horrible as I thought it would be. So we have the contract, which notably is for Dr. Kahl's robot, not Dr. Kahl himself. His robot made a deal with the devil. However that works. So anyway, let's go for it. It'd be funny if you could parry the bubblegum, but I don't think you can get there fast enough as the stage starts. I mean, it is pink, after all. Okay, one extra parry from that. Okay, we're already in the second phase. Yeah, for flight stages, the coffee is a really, really good item. I mean, you're not going to be smoke dashing, so why not? Okay, on to the final phase. Just have to be mindful of the gem shards and the electric walls. And not get hit with that. Well, let's get a fail quote. I have the perfect equation to hinder your evasion. 
Apparently you do. Here's a real high class battle. Here goes. Almost messed that up. Yep. The hands appeared in just the wrong way there. So I get most of this fight, but it can still surprise me here and there. And by saying it's doable, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's easy. Just that I feel a bit better about this than I did previously. I got kind of confused there, and I'm not even sure what really hit me. Something obviously did, though. I think ultimately my plan on that run had been to try and save my super until the heart was exposed, but it didn't go well. Yeah, I definitely prefer when he uses the magnet instead of those twisty hands. Those have a nasty habit of getting in the way. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, that time I got magnetized right into his shots. A great slam and then stop. Here goes. So maybe on that one good run, I just got kind of lucky. That's why, for example, the rare times I manage to successfully perfect run a Mega Man stage the first time through, I'll usually try it a second time just to see if it was a fluke. After all, luck happens sometimes. Okay, when the twisty hands are going backwards, they fire off shots. I don't think I noticed that before. That might explain some things. That wasn't the parry button. Okay, antenna's out. Drones are out. I'm out. I'm not quite sure what happened there. 
I think it ran out of time for the magnet attack or something, because it just kind of flashed in the air for a moment there and then immediately went back down. It didn't even have, like, a smooth animation of appearing or anything. That was weird. I mean, it's less trouble for me, so in the end, I'll take it. Now if we can just get through this. Which we can't. Right into it. Yeah, the magnet attack just feels kind of wonky. It feels like it should be doing more than it actually does, but, you know, again, I'd be a fool to complain. trouble with this phase after all. Thank you, foreground objects. seems like it goes a bit better if I do it that way. much in the way of the X cards at that point to deal with the second phase. Whereas if I go ahead and do this now, I'm at least charging up some EX power for that phase. Don't go down into that. Mm. like I want to try saving my super for the next phase. I'm not sure if there's actually a difference between the red and blue gems or not. It's probably something I might notice in post.
Okay, I think we might have gotten it. Okay, we were fast enough, full HP, three parries, plenty of super. We did it! So, yeah, that fight was a bit of a thing. I freely admit that one. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, but still, definitely not the easiest fight I've been through either. Ooh. One thing about this fight I will say is... on the more annoying side. A lot of times that I got hit during the final phase, it mostly felt like it was because bullets were hidden behind foreground objects, and... It looks stylish. It makes the junkyard feel more crowded and more enclosed like it kind of should be. But... Mm, from a gameplay standpoint, that can be kind of annoying when that happens. Still overall, this was a really fun fight. I enjoyed this one. I liked the theming of it and everything. I'm just never going to escape from eyebrow doctors. That's just always going to be a thing, isn't it? <laughs> but with that, that's where we're going to call it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.